Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to calculate the internal rate of return. So I've got an initial outlay in column D and then the net income for each of these years. To calculate the internal rate of return, I use the IRR function. And the IRR function only has one mandatory argument, which is values. And that needs to include the initial outlay and the net income. So this could be across years or months. Close the bracket and press enter. And I get the internal rate of return. If I copy this down, it will do so for the other projects. Now let me explain this non-mandatory argument called guess. So guess defaults to 0.1 or 10%. And Excel uses an iterative technique for calculating the internal rate of return. Starting with the guess, IRR cycles through the calculation until the result is accurate. If IRR can't find a result that works after 20 tries, the num error value is returned. In most cases, you do not need to provide a guess for the IRR calculation. If guess is omitted, it is assumed to be 10%. If IRR gives the num error value, or if the result is not close to what you expected, try again with a different value for guess. Now let's look at a related function called XIRR. Now this would be useful when you have specific dates which you know you're going to receive income. In the last example, the income was assumed to be at the end of each year or at the end of each month. Equals X, I, R, R. So values would include the initial outlay and then the income, comma. And dates includes the date of the initial outlay and the dates that you are going to receive the income. Now, because I want to copy this formula down, I need to lock the reference to those dates. And I've used F4 on my keyboard to do that. If F4 doesn't work, type the dollars in as you see them there. I'll close the bracket and press enter. And if you don't get a percentage value, just go to the Home tab on the ribbon and apply the percentage style to that cell. And then you can copy the formula down and it will return the internal rate of return based on these specific income dates. Now, next I want to look at another related function called MIRR. Now this function is useful when you want to consider both the discount rate, so the financing rate, and the reinvestment rate. So equals MIRR, open bracket. First argument asks you to specify your values. So that includes your initial outlay and then the expected income. Comma, your finance rate is the discount rate, and I need to lock the reference to that cell. Comma, and the reinvest rate is the rate that you expect to receive on your income. So that's B2, and I'll lock that cell as well. Now, if I close the bracket and press enter, and copy this down, it gives me the internal rate of return based on these additional factors. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.